right, if uh, you remember, oh man, it's been a couple, maybe a few years since I've done my fan modification to this uh, Dell Optiplex GX620. I actually converted it to hold a uh, fan, an exhaust fan here, and uh, yeah, it's worked out pretty good. But now is uh, yeah, for my like my ID system. I also need a signature pad like that one there, and I need the USB port because everything else is maxed out. So I'm going to have to pull this whole system out. I've already got it unplugged here. So I'd actually converted it to an old USB cable that was damaged and used that USB port on the back here for power. But now I need that USB port because I'm actually going to be, act well yeah, I'm going to be maxing them all out here. So this fan conversion has to go and I've got to mod it with another fan which I happen to have and also has the Molex connector, but main problem I have is that there's only one power supply for one uh, hard drive. There is no other expansions on this uh, power supply, so basically this is it. Just one SATA connection. So I'm having to order an adapter that will plug into this connection and then split off um, for one SATA and one um, Molex connection, which is this connection here. So that way I can just plug this one up inside. And yeah, I'm just going to have to take this one out basically. I might as well go ahead and do that now. And yeah, just remove this one, get it out of the way. And then this is the new one. It's actually thinner. It actually fits in here a lot better. But yeah, since I'm not using these expansion slots, this will work out pretty good. Let me go ahead and use two hands here. I'll get this set up. Okay, there you go. Finally got it in. So, yep, there's the cord that I'll just connect to once I get the splitter. It's basically a Y splitter for this SATA connection. And I had to search for it too because there's only... They've got them for the 4-pin Molex or, you know, Molex splitting out to two SATAs and all that. So, yeah, this one I needed a basically a male-end SATA to plug into this power supply connection. Then it splits off to another female SATA that'll plug into the hard drive. And then the other one's got a 4-pin a Molex. Um, I believe it's a male-end as well, so that'll just plug into this side and that way I'll have power for the fan and I'll free up that last set of uh, connection that I need. So when the parts arrive I will continue this video and show you how it's set up. Oh yeah and one other note I went ahead and removed this little flap that little locking mechanism that holds the any expansion cards that you're not using or basically this is you know, I've never had an expansion card of any kind, AGP or PCI in here, so... Yeah, I removed that just for added space for the fan, so it fits snug, and, uh... Yep. So now the little closed properly. Before it closed properly with the old fan, but, you know, still it was kind of tight. So, yeah, I just removed it altogether. You know, I could have just cut that little... Cut this little blue tab off, but, yeah just easier to remove this whole this whole thing and take it out all together. Alright, so I got the tripod set up. You can see what I'm doing here. This is what I got. It's a single male and for the SATA and then uh, it'll plug into the power supply and then one that'll branch off to the uh, hard drive and then the Molex, the 4-pin Molex will be for the fan. So let me get this out of here. Get some scissors. Yeah, this is about the only one that I've seen like this, and this is exactly what I need specifically for this computer. So I've already disconnected the plug for the power supply because it's the only one available. There is no others. Just the um, what's that? The uh, 
16 or I think 20 pin, I can't remember what that is, and then the 4 pin, which is, uh, I think it's somewhere underneath the disk drive. So this is all I got. So, yep, I'll go ahead and connect this up like that. And then this one will be for the power supply, or I'm sorry, the hard drive. So let me, it should be better just to pull this up like that. Plug that in like that. And, yep, we're in there. So next we plug up the fan. Yeah, of course, these Molex pins are not always lined up right. There we go. Nothing backed out, so it is in there. All right, then we'll make room to put these connections in so I can put the cover back on. There we go. A little something like that. And we'll power it on. There we go. Bring it down here so you can see. Fan is working. It's a pretty good one too. Oh yeah. A lot of a lot of exhaust coming out of that. So yeah, that'll be great. Back it off here. So this is still an XP machine. It is compatible with Windows 7. We've already, I've already done an upgrade on another one of these. But yeah, so this will basically complete my second fan mod to a Dell Optiplex GX620. There you go. So yeah, I found this on eBay. It was right around, uh, I don't know if I remember, about six bucks. So. Yep, just a single connection. It's the uh, male end, and it goes to a female SATA and a male Molex for the power to the fan. And, you know, these other wires, you can probably just you know, get them out of the way, whatever. They're really not, not much room in here to stuff them down, but, uh, yep, works good. So... Yeah, that's a 60 millimeter fan, if I remember correctly. 80 millimeters is just too big, and that's a thin, a thin one. So, you know, that's probably not more than a half inch in thickness. So, kind of give you some idea what to look for. The other one that I had in there, that clear, the clear one, was a full size, but you know, I had to cut a little section out of here to make it fit and all that. And that was really just a pain. So, but yep, yeah, there you go. That'll complete this fan mod project. So I'll just go ahead and pop the lid back on. Just one hand. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can feel the intake here. and Definitely got the exhaust, so there you go. Hope that helps you for a fan mod on a compact Dell so you can eliminate the overheating uh, problem that these things seem to be notorious for. So, all right, thanks for watching.